that everyone's still sleeping? Come this way, Marshmallow. Wait, I bring them. Go, go, go. Trixie. Oh. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good morning. out and I had to change to a more warmer kind of colder I don't know how to say it outfit because it's getting very warm actually very nice and warm the wind that is coming it's actually a bit relieving because when you sit in the sun too much you get way too hot so what we're gonna do today we want to try David's machine as you saw in the past video he made the bucket and the fork and we kind of tried it a bit in our compost pile marshmallow <laughs> what happened what happened she jumped at me and then ran away. She Marshall, gets... did you bite her? We're gonna see that in the video. <coughs> and we do need a new hay roll, which means we need to empty the hay roll that is inside now and bring a new one. And that's why we want the machine. We're trying to fix it fast, fast, fast. Then we did some changes to make it a bit better. Let's get started and see how good the machine works.
আমার মনে got water and the little ones are doing fine they're kind of sleeping and walking a bit around oh you're falling now hey get your feet in <laughs> and uh, these ones as i said also are starting to eat a bit on hay these ones are also nipping around and i'm actually very surprised that everyone is living in harmony over there all the white crew together with oreo milkshake is our two youngsters they always go together the two kids of those two the milkshake and oreo her kid and then the rest is kind of living together. Hoppity has his mom, of course. And Trixie has her kid. And I'm actually also surprised that Trixie, Noella, and as you saw, the little one, they live pretty good together. And actually, sometimes the little one goes to her grandma. It's kind of like a very cute harmony they're living in. And actually, also, the small one is getting a bit confused with milkshake. They look the same, but they don't. the milkshake doesn't have horns. But she still, when she gets paranoid, she goes to milkshake because they look the same. The machine kind of worked pretty good, I must say. Maybe like the idea for this specific hay to have the bucket on the machine because then we can load it in. But the dumping feature I like because for me it's very annoying to drive the wheelbarrow all the way up. So that's the annoying part, but it worked. I think what's going to be very useful is for here, for these two sides, because those were quite a bit of work to do with hands and wheelbarrows. So I think there's going to be very useful just to fork it on and bring it. But uh, yeah, David said he has a lot of flaws he wants to fix here and there, but we'll see once we have the time to slowly fix it because we have a lot of things that need to be done. Now that the weather is good, we want to work again on the house, on the patio, not the patio, the mudroom. So we will see. It's also going to be useful there so we can bring gravel with it. Hopefully it works out all good. And I do not know why we didn't do the hay roll rides more often because that was extremely fun. I just came up with that idea today because I was thinking how else to film it. And then I was just thinking just to get on the hay roll and film but it didn't look that interesting. But the ride was extremely fun. We should do that more often next year. I know the snow might be a bit annoying but I don't know if you have like waterproof pans it's very fun. <laughs> but then that's pretty much it with all the hay work and all of yeah pretty much the hay <laughs> that we did but actually before we did all of that work in the morning my mom cleaned up kind of undigged the very annoying itchy i'm gonna put a clip like a photo here of those plants and uh, she undigged them she turned them all around so the roots can dry up in the sun and then we're gonna go she wants to show you how she makes kind of something like a pesto type so yeah let's see those clips and then go to the kitchen So you could eat them from the field. <laughs> so for my pesto, I collect these ones. 
In Germany they are called Giers and I try to collect only the very small ones, the fresh ones. They are so soft and so full of vitamins and minerals and I will show you later how to make the pesto. Yeah, you don't need a lot at all and we no. have it growing everywhere as you can see it's like a carpet yeah. everywhere. It has taken over all the plants. Which is better than the nettles, than the itchy plants? It's better to have this one because of course it doesn't itchy. I will collect about 100 grams, this is not a yeah. lot. Makes me two and a half little jaws. So here we are now inside in the kitchen. We have prepared, as you saw already, everything. So yeah, let's get started. So this is a very easy recipe. You only need a Libra. And uh, from the gears I sampled yesterday, I will take um, 60 grams now. Wait. Something like this. One garlic I cut in pieces. So it's easier to splint. Uh, some nuts and um, sunflower seeds. Yeah. <laughs> sunflower seeds. Just so like a little bit, like yeah, yeah. Hand, hand. hand food. And I have to put a little bit more than the same amount of uh, gears in oil. But I take half olive oil, and they they have, they have uh, um, grape seeds. Grape but you seed can take seed, yeah. also sunflower seed. I don't take all of olive oil because if you put it in the fridge, olive oil will get hard. This one keeps the pesto softer. So. If you have sunflower or rapso, you can use either, yeah, yeah. but we have this one. So together we have a little bit more. Let's do like this. One spoon vinegar, a little bit of pepper, salt, uh, maybe that's enough. And now because the gears was washed and has dried up a little bit, I put uh, a little bit water. So it's not too thick. No, it's not too thick. And then, let's start. The magic with this tool. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called like a stick mixer. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, we also make it split in 60 because also for the mixer not to be too much to mix in. So that's why we split it in two times. Yeah, I will make, uh, I will empty it in the jaws. And then we make again in the and same make one. the same procedure again. Yes, pretty simple, pretty easy. So if you have this one, yeah, because... I like it more than pesto because you can eat it. Uh, and if you don't put garlic, you can put it even for breakfast under your bready with uh, cheese or with ham. Um, it doesn't have such a strong taste. But you can also do it with basil, half and half maybe if you want, if you really like the basil. But because basil is very expensive here, that's why I'm trying to grow my own. That's why we we'll make this one. And it also doesn't have cheese, so it's. Kind of no, I don't put cheese. Vegan, right? Yeah, it doesn't have any. No. So it's also vegan. <laughs> this one I made uh, three days before. It's getting a little bit darker. Uh, so yeah, don't be scared. It's, it's gonna not, get dark up here. It's not rotten. No. <laughs> if you put oil on the top, always when you take something out and you put oil on it, you can keep it for two months, I think. But it will it's not. not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna last. <laughs> We empty one glass of that like now with my mom. David is not a fan of it, so we empty like so fast that it's not even gonna form mold, I promise. So this amount of leaves made us just this this jaw and a little bit to eat now. Now it can stay for two months in the fridge if we can do it. So we've got two of these jaws and a little bit more. It's a mayonnaise substitute, much healthier. And um, I came up with the idea after uh, last year in summer, uh, one of your followers uh, commented that you can make pesto from the greens of carrots. And in Athens I met a lot of uh, carrot pesto, the greens of carrots. I get them for free because nobody wants to eat them. Here I will leave this one for the kids and to eat in summer. I also made, I collected yesterday some dandelion buds to make them capers. It's just the uh, first time I'm doing like this. I don't know even how they taste. I have to wait a little bit. And after I killed so many of the thistles, I was thinking 
maybe it's better to take the roots and to boil them. I made a research and I found a lot of receipts where they boil it with a little bit of vinegar, just like asparagus, and it's nice. And everybody tells they're very rich in minerals, this one, so strong for the summer. Bye bye. Yeah, she's actually leaving tomorrow, so you're gonna see her again in summer. Yeah, in July. So now let's go outside and see how the goat girlies are doing and uh, yeah, see how the little one is doing and if we can lock her in for the night. actually nine o'clock and we have been kind of lucky the past uh, two or three days we've been able to lock Noella inside with the little one because they were kind of already inside as you saw in one of the past videos so the past days we have been quite lucky but today it's actually not that cold in the evening and uh, they're still active running around they actually just run all the way down from upstairs so we're gonna leave them outside it's no problem I'm so happy how good everyone else is behaving <laughs> is behaving with her she kind of likes Hoppity though, because Hoppity's, you know, like, nah, he doesn't care, he doesn't really fight with anyone, he doesn't bother to, you know, really fight. So she's always with him, maybe because he's a bigger goat. And as I said, she also messes up with milkshake, because they do look the same. They did try to fight those two, but uh, they did try to fight her back, and then she ran away straight away, <laughs> quite scared. And she's also not getting so paranoid to look for her mom. She's kind of like, you know, chilling around with every goat here and there, seeing her opportunities, what she can do. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. What? Everyone's what? peeing. What? What? Why does everyone have to sing her nice pee? And she's also peeing. Literally everyone pee. <laughs> this is the lie, what can I do? <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. And the last thing I want to say is that since everyone is behaving so good with their goatees, and Smokey's babies are quite, wait, grass, are quite old. I think they're gonna be able to come out pretty soon. Luckily, we should remember that Lima should always go last to give birth so she can be the longest locked in So she, all the other babies can grow up at the time her babies grow up and she can come out So we should manage it kind of like that because it's pretty good to have a big gap between Lima because she's the bully and um, Yeah, hey, she actually went inside You go lock it first I guess. <laughs> okay. I guess we're gonna lock her. If we get that opportunity, you can still do that. We first thing in the morning, as soon as we wake up before eating breakfast or anything, they come out. So yeah, unexpected things. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna see you. Hopefully tomorrow we need to start posting daily because we are very behind. Okay, I need to lock it properly. <laughs>